here she comes. Good job. Hey, guys. Today we're back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, and today we're going to be doing a Labrador Retriever Guide. Labs came out on all three platforms today. So today we're gonna go over everything you need to know to level up your brand new Labrador Retriever the right way. We're gonna go through how to best level up your dog. We're gonna go through a few strategies. We're gonna start right from the beginning. So the very first thing you want to do when you do purchase your Labrador Retriever DLC is go into a storage locker, go to the kennel, go to purchasable dogs, and you will have a choice between Bloodhound, if you do own the Bloodhound DLC, and Labrador Retriever. Then you want to pick whether you want your dog to be male or female. And then there are seven different fur types you can choose from. So we have yellow, black, chocolate, fox red, charcoal, champagne, and silver. So pick the color you would like. You're very first dog will be zero dollars. Any labs you purchase after the first will cost you 45,000 in-game dollars. Once you do name your dog, you can now rename it. So you can change your mind. So that is very handy. So purchase your first dog. All right. So I'll purchase one. Let's go through it. Then you want to name it. Get a name on puppy dog. Press OK. So then this is what you're going to have. You're going to have a brand new dog at level one on the companion and the retriever side. What you want to do is start to level up your lab right away and the only way to do that is by killing class one species and getting your retriever to bring them to you now your brand new retriever is not going to work as well as it will when it is fully leveled up they will start to perform better and better as they level up so don't expect a rock star right from the beginning but they are pretty cool now the one thing that is very important that you will want to remember is that your dog can pick up class one species only it's not going to pick up a floating white tail unfortunately Unfortunately, but everything that is class one, your lab can retrieve and bring to you. But it has to be within about 100 meters, especially at the beginning. By the time your dog is fully leveled up, it might be able to go a little further than 100 meters, but not a whole lot. So if you shoot something that's 200 meters away, you're going to want to run towards that kill and get within 100 meters and then get your dog to retrieve it for you. Now, even kills that are 20 feet in front of you, get your lab to go and pick it up. All that's going to do is help you to level up your lab even faster. Now, we're going to go through some strategies. Now, I'm actually going to take out my leveled up dog just to show you what they can do. So this is Ladybug. Now, when you first get your dog, it's not going to have much of a bond with you. One of the best ways to increase your bond is just to praise your dog and you can do that while you're running. So it is very handy. But to level it up anymore, you want to get your dog to sit. Then go right up to the dog and you can play with it. And it's just like the bloodhound, shake a paw. You can give it pets. And already it is my best friend and you can give it dog treats if you have purchased the dog treats. And you don't actually have to equip them, you just have to have them on you in order to be able to give them to the dog. So now we have a fully bonded dog, but that won't last forever. It's something we're gonna have to continually pay attention to as we hunt is increasing the bond level because the dog does perform better with three hearts for its bond. So then what you want to do is get out and hunt for class one species. Now, if you are playing non-DLC, I would recommend Hirschfelden over Leighton. Here in Hirschfelden, there are all kinds of geese. There are European rabbits and there are pheasants. Now, the other map that I would recommend hunting to level up your lab is Revontuli Coast right here. There are 19 species on this map and more than half of them are class one species. The other thing I did was go to Rancho Del Arroyo. You can definitely run and gun. There are eastern wild turkeys, there are rabbits, and there are pheasants. And that's actually what I did and I had a lot of fun doing it. But every map has at least one class one species on it. Now you can just find zones with Canadian geese just hanging out in the fields or you can set up decoys and that's probably the best way to do it. Let's head over there. Now guys, let me know in the comments what you think of the new Labrador Retrievers so far and definitely stick around right to the end of the video. I am gonna share a keyword, drop that in the comments for your chance to win a one month membership to the channel and we're gonna head straight into it. Okay, so when you wanna set up decoys, very, very quick and easy to do. Just grab an open field here in Hirschfelden. You can pretty much put it anywhere. So once you have your decoys all set up and ready to go, you can just absolutely obliterate the geese once they all start to come in like this. Make sure you have as many on the ground as possible. Too 
far. And then just get your lab to go and pick everything up. Beautiful. Thank you, dog. No escape for you. Beauty. And that one thought he was gonna escape, but not happening. Not for you, my buddy. So to set up like this, just go into the store and what you need, there are three different decoys for Canadian geese. There are feeding, searching, and sentry. Now it says here that the effect of multiple decoys in the same area stacks up to a max of 20 decoys. So buy 20 decoys, buy two of one and one of each of the others. They come in increments of five. Now the other thing you'll wanna purchase is a waterfowl blind. So so any of these incognito deluxe waterfowl blinds are absolutely awesome for hunting ducks and geese. So then what you want to do is put your waterfowl blind right in the middle. I put it right on the top of the hill here and then surround your decoys all the way around and then just get in the middle and get your lab to lay down so it doesn't interfere with the geese. And you'll wanna use the short read Canada goose caller to call them in. They will often come in without even doing any calling. They are very much attracted to the decoys, but it can't hurt. And the geese will eventually start to come in. But if you find they aren't coming in, change the time to 5.30, 6 a.m. That helps a lot with bringing in geese. And having a tent close by is a very good idea. Mine is a little far away. I used to have decoys right here, so I need to just move my tent a little closer. But this is a definitely a great way to just sit, destroy a pile of geese, and just level up your lab nice and fast. Now let's have a look at the traits. Now every five levels that you level up your lab, you will be able to choose from two different traits. So at level five, we have loving. You have an even more loving relationship with your dog, which will increase its overall bond. And the other choice is strong. Your dog is less burdened by carrying harvest. So I chose loving. He doesn't seem that burdened by carrying harvest. So it's really hard to know which is better, but a lot of them it is quite evident. So at level 10, we have sixth sense. Your dog has a higher chance of sensing when an animal is about to be spooked. That sounds like a good thing. And then we have quiver. Your dog is able to fetch arrows that it can reach. Only works with the recycle perk. And I don't have the recycle perk, so I went with the sixth sense. Then at level 15, we have howl. Your dog will howl like a wolf on command. My question is, why do you want it to? <laughs> I don't know what purpose that serves. And then the other one is bold. Your dog will run further away in its search for something to retrieve. Definitely want this one. We want bold because I want it to run further and further. That's definitely going to increase the functionality of the lab. Then at level 20, we have sharp. Your dog is naturally more more willing to work and has increased focus. That sounds good to me. Then we have control. If idle, your dog will go into heel position when you fire your weapon. Again, what purpose does that serve? Because it looks cool. Well, I'm going to reset these in a minute. We're gonna do the opposite ones and we're gonna actually test this out. Now at level 25, we have close. Your dog has a higher chance of staying close to you. Webbed paws, your dog swims faster. That is a definite benefit, so we went with web paws. Then at level 30, we have brave. Your dog has a chance to ward off predator attacks. I personally love getting attacked. I find it fun, exciting, a great way to make cash, and you might just have a trophy come up and attack you, so I don't want brave. And then this one is retriever. Your dog retrieves at longer distances and is less burdened by carrying harvest. Definitely you want retriever. So this has been great. I have been running with these traits. Just because I'm curious, Let's reset them. We're gonna take the opposite traits and see what the difference is. But before we do, let's go out and kill a few things and you can see how my dog reacts using these traits. We have some mallards about 150 meters away. Let's see if we can ping at least one of these babies off. Got it. Okay, so you want to wait for them to calm down if you're going to shoot more so they don't spook. Now, I don't think my lab can go 150 meters, but let's try it. Okay, they are calm again. And I think they spooked, but we did get another one. Oh my gosh, my dog got the harvest at 150 meters. Look at that. <laughs> okay, that is definitely because of this your dog retrieves at longer distances because before he was going 100 meters and that was it. She went 150 meters. So that is very cool. Good job. 147 meters. 
Very good. You don't have to ask your dog to keep retrieving. It will just keep going back and it will bring you everything that it possibly can. And there it is in the water, looking good. They really did do a great job. Look at that. Uh, this one's so close, we're gonna use the shotgun. Beautiful. And here he comes with the second duck. And here she comes with the second mallard. Nice job. And it's a piebald. They're not rare, but they're very pretty. Very cool. And now it's gonna go back and get the one we just took with the shotgun. Now you'll notice it will take it to me wherever I am. I don't have to be in the spot where I was when I asked the dog to retrieve. I can actually run around and keep on hunting and the dog will just run after me until I stop and then it will bring me the harvest no matter where I am. So that is very cool. Okay, so now we are going to reset our traits. Just gotta remember which ones are the opposite. Okay, these are basically the opposite traits. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, we have some geese over here on the other side. Let's pummel them. Oh, nice! Okay, we got two. Now what I'm actually going to do, that's where we were, is back up to 150 meters so we can do the same test. You can come too, dog. Okay, here we go. Can she do it again? Look at it swim. And I think there you go. Did you see that? She stopped right at 100 meters and turned around and she's coming back empty handed. So there you go. That pretty much proves it. But I wanna see what she does when I shoot a louder weapon. Okay, now you can do it, dog. Try again. And now that we got closer, so there you go. Okay, so the one thing I'm noticing is that my dog is definitely sticking closer to me, and that's because we have close, as opposed to your dog swimming faster. So the, if that's important to you, then you will want close. Now, the one thing I'm noticing, I'm not sure how to get my dog to howl like a wolf. And here it says, if idle, your dog will go into heel position when you fire your weapon. Well, I've tried that, let's see. I'm not sure how to do that either. <laughs> I don't notice anything different and when I pull open the dog menu. If you guys know how to make the dog howl like a wolf, let me know in the comments because I'm really not sure how to. Okay, so I have put my traits back to the way that I like to have them. These are the traits that I'm going to be running with with my lab, but I think the most important ones are bold. Your dog will run further away in its search for something to retrieve and retriever, your dog retrieves at longer distances and is less burdened by carrying harvest. I think these two is the reason that my lab is able to pick up from 150 meters because without it, she can only do 100 meters. So I think those are the most important in my opinion, but this is what I would recommend for your traits. If you think I have not chosen wisely, let me know what you would change in the comments. And there you have it, have fun with your lab. And the key phrase for today's video is, I love my lab. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, click right here to see me shoot my most incredible rare in six years.